Hey, Sneaky Nation, welcome back for some more How to Survive third person standalone. Don't forget to click like to show your support, and if you're new, join the rest of us in Sneaky Nation by clicking subscribe. Okay, so last time we finally came across Sanchez, who was going to be our pilot to fly us out of this crazy hellhole. The only issue is we must collect all 20 of his pieces of cargo, which are spread out across all the islands, I'm assuming. There's not 20 here. There are these red and yellow exclamation point icons. Then we're going to have to take the boat, go to each and every island. I'm sure there's going to be someone, all four of them. And then we can come back here and get out of here. But of course, it's not that simple because, number one, we have that boss who just spawned again down there. I'm sure there's going to be all kinds of other crazy issues getting in our way as well. Oh, man. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, now, according to the map, if we go up here and then we, like, Looks like we followed like a ramp down. We can get to an area we've never been to before. And it looks like there are three areas, uh, three pieces of supplies or whatever they're called down there. There's also a monkey. Oh, and there's also another place we can fill up our fuel. I mean, there's one back there too, but we can hold off. Okay, so we're going to pick off some of these guys. Try to get the big boys first. Yep, oh, if we can actually make contact. Oh man, are you kidding me? There we go. Let's pick off the horde as fast as possible. Those guys are really going to be the only issue I have to deal with here. These ones are no problem whatsoever. Sanchez, help me out, you crazy drunk! Oh, where'd you come from? These guys are going to start spawning in here now. Okay, at least they're not charging me. That guy kind of is, though. The big boy back there. Man, I'm not getting multiples at a time here. There we go. That's the stuff right there. Okay, so he's not nearly up here yet, so we have enough time to snipe him. There might be something up there. I should probably check that out. Okay, we got him. Some more Zambas to deal with. Let's make sure we collect all this ammo. We're going to run out of so much of it if we keep using that precision rifle. Oh man, we're going to have to keep clearing this area out too. We let another horde on to our presence. What? Where where they be at? Okay, before it does it even let me climb up there? Doesn't look like it. That's kind of a scam if you ask me, but whatever. Okay. Now anyways. Oh, oh, we have to go in there. Might be something good. Usually there is something good in there. Oh, it's a hardware box. I mean we might need it. Oh, Whoa, what happened down there? Something crashed or something. Let's go check it out. That's got to be where one of the supply drops is. Let's make our way on down there. Anything good over here? Yeah, I could use some of that, I guess. Okay, a little bit of a horde here. What's, what's back there behind them? <laughs> Three for one special, sucker. Two for one special. Cassava root, yep. Golden cat, what is the purpose of this? That's kind of unusual. Do I go and give this back to her and she's going to give me something amazing now? This is actually your cat. Look how amazing it is. He's so strong. Crazy old lady. Let's, let's see what this is. I'm curious. Yeah, I bet we could probably give that to her instead, maybe. I don't know. All these people shipwrecked because Kovac wants people here for some reason. We still don't know the entire reason behind that. Can't imagine yet. Oh man, those are some zombie ones. Ah! I hate those things so much. Alright, you know what we're gonna do? When all else fails, fire heals the way. Okay. There we go, that wasn't so bad. I mean, there weren't like 20 of them bef like there were before, but... Still handle it. Still handle it! Get rid of you, you're a nuisance. A couple of random zombies, they're no issue. Is a cassava root? Ah, oh, man. Just part of the foliage, I guess. Oh, look at that head just rolling around. <laughs> That's so awesome. 
Okay, so we're gonna make our way across. Oh, wait, there's still some more. Wait, those might be legitimate ones. Even if they're not, they're pretty small, so I might be able to take them down pretty easy. Feathers, feathers. Oh, I guess some of them were real ones. I don't need any more feathers, otherwise I might pick those up. Can always farm them later if I need to, but for now they shall remain where they are. Oh yeah, those are legitimate ones, perfect. Yeah, that's somebody's plane. That might be Sanchez's plane right there, actually. Okay. Oh, come on, man. Oh, come on. Okay, this is just silly. Can't really see it, my screen's kind of dark. Mix out some bad accuracy and just a recipe for disaster. Looks like we had some piranha up there too. They're gonna eat our feet if we go in there. Not just for starters until they demolish all of it. You die now, you die. Okay, we got some brown mushrooms. Yeah, this place is a bit dangerous. Oh man, what? Oh, there's a little bit of a horde going on here. Oh, man! Ah. He just clipped right through that. That's not fair. I can't do that. Ah! 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 Bad accuracy is not on my side today. Ah! Problem solved. Did I just see a piece of fabric? I thought so. I ran right past it. Ah, uh, that's not very inviting. Is this Kovacs doing? At least I can swing my axe through it. That's something. Alright, let's find out where these things are now. There's like one right next to me. It's gotta be in here. Oh yeah, there's a package. Sanchez's packages. Okay, so we can't pick up anything else. Keep that in mind, everybody. Unless we drop something or we go cook some freaking fresh meat. This is so weird. They might... They might be zombies, they might be people that he just starved to death, I'm not sure. Okay, let's pick these guys off one by one. There we go. Oh, we let the horde on to us now. <laughs> but thank you to the piranha for helping us out. It's greatly appreciated. So we need to get over there. There's something in that little hut mabobber thingy. Oh, there's also one over there. Plus, that's where the little monkey is. We should be able to just cross right over this. Yeah, we're not technically in the water, so we're pretty free and clear. What's this? Triple sticks cutting boomerang. Okay, so that's just exactly the same thing that I mentioned before. You combine two bone... What do they call them? Bone blades together, then you make the boomerang, and then you combine that with a piece of flint, and then you have the triple sticks cutting boomerang. It's a main lean fighting machine. Short tube. I do not need that. Ah! <gasps> Zombie crocodile! This is the first time I've seen that. We don't need to be dealing with this nonsense, everybody. Empty jerry can. Ah! Oh man, this is just ridiculous. <laughs> at least we got him. I knew I was going to have to deal with him eventually, so I just figured get it out of the way. Okay, so what's, what's little uh, Koku got to say here? play with Coco? Coco hide yellow shiny cat. Ooh. Survivor get big reward for finding shining cat for Coco. Ah, so that explains that then. <laughs> Beautiful! Ah, survivor very strong. Coco giving reward for Survivor. Ooh. Yes, we got another redstone. Are you kidding me? You're kidding me. We leveled up too. Okay, let's take a quick gander at what we can do in that regard, and then we'll definitely use that redstone. I'm gonna stay on the crossbow this time. Okay, so we can level something else up, but we're gonna do ability to make attractive Molotovs. Gives one bonus Molotov each time a Molotov is made. Ooh, ooh, very, very fancy. Okay, now I'd really like to get that one, but I, I like the sound of this. Okay, so we got that package. Okay, redstone. We're gonna combine this. Yeah, it might be nice with the chainsaw, but I barely use it. I think it's gonna be much more beneficial to use it here. 
Okay, now we got the golden crossbow. Let's see how it looks. Oh, so epic. So epic. Alright, so we're getting tired, so we're gonna take some of these seeds. Yes, we have plenty of them. We'll be just fine and dandy. Got him. These ones will try to cross. Hopefully some piranha find them. Oh, is that another crocodile? Oh, that might be a legitimate crocodile this time. Ah, damn it, the piranha. Nowhere near here. There's a lot of the empty jerry cans. I wonder if there's any real purpose to those now, except for, like, the chainsaw. I mean, yeah, they might be, like, a good way to, like, transport... Actually, that's what gotta be what it is. Like, you hold it, and it's, like, an extra way to transport fuel with you, extra fuel. In case you run out and you're not near somewhere else. Snatch some more up. Okay. I mean, they crossed it. Why can't I? Empty bottle! Genie in a bottle. Um... Yeah, so I need to... I need to make my way over there. There were three of them in this particular area. Yeah, there's still one over there. Wait, what is that? There's like some kind of tree marked on the map. What's with that tree? How do I even get up there? Alright, let's cross over this side. Oh, man. Nighttime's coming. Let's see if we can pick this... Oh, come on, man. Damn it! See, I knew they were coming. <laughs> it was only a matter of time. You can't even be off like a fraction of an inch. Or it's not gonna make contact. Like some games, they still give you like the leeway, but... I guess I'm too noob. Used to newbie maneuvers and whatnot. Alright, so we're gonna turn our flashlights on. Because we don't have time for this nonsense. Okay, we're ready for that. What's going on? Okay, hunger is getting down there. Let's just eat something now to get it over with. Don't want to be dealing with issues in that regard. Alright, so how the hell do we get up there? Here's something in the water. Oh, is that the alligator? Oh, yes. Alright, uh, crocodile, alligator, whatever the hell it is. I don't know. I don't want to know either. Okay, so we made it up here. We've got ourselves empty bottle. We got Sanchez package. We got a nice horde coming after us. Ah! Okay, we need a. Oh my goodness! Oh my goodness! Okay, we got her. The only thing I'm really concerned about is that crocodile up beside him. No concern whatsoever. Yeah, the piranha might be dangerous too, but there really aren't any near me at this particular moment. Alright, so we got the handmade gun ammo. Let's cross the line here. Okay, I want to find out what's up with that freaking tree. Taking advantage of clipping issues for the win. Where is he? Damn it. Alright, see, you have to swipe the right number of times, and then you can do the insta-kill. Special white plant, no thank ya. Okay, so we have something in here. Another blueprint. High capacity improved chainsaw, we already made that, so no big deal. I mean, it's at least good that you don't necessarily need to have the blueprint to make some of this stuff, but... But yeah. Alright, now, where's it? I think it's that tree right there. See again at the map again. Where are we? Oh, there's a few different of these trees. Oh man, the freaking alligators in there. Oh, there's some kind of barrier up there too we have to break through. Oh, that's how we have to get the other Sanchez package. Damn it! I don't have the... Oh wait, there is a fuel... Fuel station or whatever nearby. Great alligators on me, I see him. Where'd he go? He spotted me, I know he did. Here he comes. Oh, maybe he didn't. Okay. Works for me, you know. Let's get back over here. Come on, bring it on. It's so hard to see at nighttime. This is really dangerous. Ah. 
Okay, okay, it's alright, it's alright. We were in the water for a little bit. I mean, are we still in the water? I don't know. Alright, here we go. He's getting close now. Got him. Freaking night creatures. Freaking jerks. Man, I swear these things. They just don't give up. Alright, let's... Let's take advantage of some of this food. I don't need to eat, but I do need the health from it. Alright, so we got 8 out of 20 of those. I still don't think we're going to find them all before the game's over. But, hey, we can come pretty close, I bet. What the hell was that? Oh, is that one of the ostriches? Sanchez's package, we got it. Another one of these things, leather strap. Maybe we can use that for something, I don't know. I wonder if you can even kill those prana, I doubt it. And if we can't, that's kind of an issue because I don't know where to go now. Do I just go up here? Is anything in here? That'd be nice to find like a healing plant. Use some more of my uh, cloth stuffs. Stay out of the water. Just stay out of the water, whatever we do. Okay, now we come up here. Okay, this is where we started here. Alright, good. Okay. Looks like there's something in the water. I don't trust that. I don't trust that for a second. Oh, there we go. It's like a sleeping area. We don't necessarily need headshots every time. Okay. Two in the chest works just fine, but I prefer to just get a headshot and get it over with. There we go. Alright, bring it on, ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gentlemen. It's gonna take forever to get all these packages, I just know it. Oh, here's another package. Nice, nice. Oh, wait, so we didn't need to break down that barrier. Oh, I just must have been re uh, reading the map wrong then. Okay, that works for me. I still do want to do it regardless. What is over there? Oh, that's somewhere I've been before. Okay. I guess that's why it's green. Doi. Okay, so we need to drink up. I'm gonna do that by eating some of these because we never run out of them. Plus it heals hunger at the same time. Okay, so I guess we'll initiate this. Diving tank, big chain. We've already found that. Mushroom spores. Oh, we can use that for a cocoa, I bet. He's gonna plant it for our very good perp using purpose later. Ah, what? Where are they coming from? I mean, yeah, they were coming eventually, but from, the question is from where? Here we go. Ah, oh, that's gonna be an issue. Oh, okay, never mind, never mind. Plan B. There we go. No matter what, we can't let that big boy get close. Crazy lady. Fortunately, this horde's not too bad so far. Okay. There are a few of the big boys coming down, though. Try to get a headshot to get this over with quickly. Bam, sucker! Don't mess with me! Oh, yes! We're destroying them left and right, suckers! Okay. This one, we're just gonna wipe out with one of those. There we go. Bam! And you're about to say sayonara, sucker! Good night! Okay, so ammo for handmade guns. We need all that good stuff. Good stuff, good stuff. Oh, we killed so many of them. Okay, now, I don't think it's nighttime anymore, so we can turn the flashlight off, regenerate it. 
I do want this rain to stop so I can cook this meat and free up another inventory space. Guess it's not a big deal of, as of this current moment. What's... Med kit? I mean, we might... Might be in our best interest to grab one of those. Leather strap. Can I even do anything with this right now? What does that do? Ah, uh, just leggings. Combine that with some flint. Wait, don't I already have high capacity ones? Let me see. Yeah, they're reinforced leg protections. Yeah, I've already done this. It's kind of a waste. What are they right now? They're Oh, they're reinforced right now, so... Combine them with flint. Oh, okay. So let's unequip the other ones. Didn't even think about that before. Yes, there we go. Equip those instead. Oh yeah, now they have like spikes on them. Flint is really useful, I have to say. I think we can just drop that now, free up another inventory spot. I don't think there's any real purpose for that anymore anyway. I mean, I've already reinforced everything I've got on me. So we're in good shape, good shape. Gonna pick up that diving tank. Let's grab the mushroom spores for now. We'll save it. Alright, so I mean, I guess we'll just drop it for now. I don't want to waste inventory spaces. I'm pretty comfortable with my entire weapon lineup at this point anyway. The big chain's really only for the chainsaw as far as I'm aware. Okay, this is now a safe place. We're gonna make our way to the rest of these drop locations and see if we can get on out of here. Okay, so this is one of the trees. I'm not sure exactly why these are marked. Can I knock it down? No, I don't think so. Not really sure what the purpose of them is. Okay, we have another blueprint here. Reinforced arm protections. Yes, I'm already aware of that. Thank you, though. Thank you. Oh, 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 oh. Okay. I don't care if I take a few hits from one of these, it's a lot better than getting insta-killed by one of those guys. Okay, so we better heal up before we continue on. What should we do by eating some more of that meat? Thank you. Are there any empty glass bottles here? That'd be perfect. Of course not. Screw you too. It's fine though, we can fill these three up. We should be getting multiples too if we do this correctly. Let me see. That's what that ability claimed. I don't know if I'm missing something. It's alright though. It's all good. Now we'll combine these with the cloth. So we have some molotovs. Oh, that's what it is. When you combine with the cloth, you get extra molotovs. Perfect. We have six of them. Six. Combine those with those. Hopefully it lets me carry even more of those too. Ah, damn it, see, it's not that lucky. Alright, so we have the explosive charges. We're gonna work with that. Where does that go? Let me see. Okay, so that just goes back to that area. That's, that's fairly decent. I mean, it kind of seems like it would be smarter to just go back the opposite way I came and collect the stuff that way because I'm gonna end up leaving this way anyway. Alright, let's do it. Okay, so I don't know if you remember, but I specifically pointed out this zombie that was just laying down in the water. It looked really weird. It's right next to Coco over here. I don't know what this iron grid is. We're gonna have to find out. So let's drop something useless. Like, for example... I mean, I guess the ammo's not really necessary anymore. Especially this <laughs> five little stack here. Alright, so we have to see what this thing does now. Solid curved grid, useless as is, but can be used to upgrade some armor. Ooh, interesting. This may combine with it, maybe? Oh, we didn't even have it on our chest piece, so we combine that with flint too, okay. Equip, alright, I don't see anything to use the iron grid with, so I guess... Maybe it's not gonna work out. What's with this iron, this gold monkey? That's weird. It's just like sitting there, it's so creepy. I mean, maybe it's kind of there to let you know there's something in the water. I don't know. Can't even collect it. What a ripoff. Alright, anyways, back to where we were going. Oh, look at that. We found another one of those plants right up here. 
Okay, so in case you're curious what was in like this little area next to Sanchez, there's one of these. To provide some more of the chemical fertilizer so we can make those explosives with the Molotovs. We still have plenty in our stack though, so I'm not too concerned about picking any more up. Job well done. Is there something good in here? Glasses. Oh, man. Damn it. You gotta stop taking those chances. They're not worth it usually. But what's in this one? Handmade machine gun. Oh, that's what the diving tank was for. Okay. I mean, I don't think I want that instead of the precision rifle, though. I like the precision rifle a lot. Okay, so nighttime is upon us, everybody. It is upon us. So we gotta turn the flashlight on, whether we like it or not. I can hear them, I think. Okay, he's on to me now. We finally got him ready. It's gonna take him a while to get up here, though, I bet. This is not doing much damage to him at all. What the heck? Might have to try to go melee action on him. Yeah, this is kind of like a waste of my arrows right now. I mean, every little bit we can get off, I guess, will help us out. I can also try throwing a Molotov at him, too. Oh, man! That's a bad spot for him to be in. That's a really bad spot. I can't... Okay. He's kind of stuck there. Sucker! Let's try the precision rifle now. Kind of a little bit too easy the other way. This is ammo I don't have to waste. Okay, he's coming now. Let's try out the good old fashioned chainsaw. Oh man! Okay, I guess we can try this too. The axe works for me. He's kind of stuck here, I guess. A little bit. Damn it! Okay. Oh man, he's freaking letting so many of them know I'm here. Damn it! Alright, new strategy time. We're gonna try this one again. Oh, we might be able to keep him down there. If we keep this going like this. Oh, he's stuck temporarily. I think he's gonna get up if he tries something, maybe. Oh, he's stuck there. This is so awesome. <laughs> yes. I hope that's only one stack of this ammo. I hope it's not both stacks. It might be. Oh no, it's not good. Okay. Okay, let's use some of the precision ammo now. This is such a grind. Such a grind. Oh yes, he's almost down for the count. Then we get Sanchez's package and get the hell out of here. Oh yes, he's down, everybody. He's down. We are most definitely saving after that. That was just crazy. Aim Ultra Potion. Yes. I mean, I really don't need it though. That's the... Thing. He has the highest precision in the game. It's almost perfect hundred. What is that fired? Oh, is that an arrow I fired earlier? Might be. Oh, what's going on down there? It's a little bit creepy. Okay, so it's right over this way. We can avoid that area down there completely if we want to. Okay, so... Oh, man. Okay. These ones are zombified. Just kill them all. Kill them all. Okay, we got Sanchez's packages. What the hell's that? Oh! Hidden monkey! Hidden monkey! Are you kidding me right now? I see you. I see you, man. I see you. Speak to me. Why isn't he speaking to me? I didn't find that one already, did I? Maybe I have to clear the area. Let me see. Alright, I guess we we can come down here and clear this out. There's got to be something down here, I imagine. Never checked before. It's always got to be something good. It's good, too, because we clear out... Ooh. Alright, you know what? We got to use a Molotov here. We don't have a choice in the matter. Oh, yeah. Burn, baby, burn. 
I mean, I guess we did have a choice, but we didn't want to risk it. At least I didn't. Okay, okay. Hope is not lost, everybody. We're low on health, but daylight's now here, so we're in good shape. Got some more flint. And I basically had enough flint from when I farmed Kovacs Island before. I was set for the rest of the game. Oh, there's nothing down here. That's weird. There's a dock. Maybe it'll be something we come to later? Potentially. Okay, so... There we go. We got some more fresh meat. I don't need the feathers currently. Uh, what the hell? Is that a bear? Oh, that is a bear. Where is this exactly? Is that the area that I'm thinking it is? Oh, damn it. There's something up there, so I kind of have to go through there. But I mean, I can still go around the other way without wasting the explosive. Yeah, yeah, we'll just go around. Alright, so here's the next Sanchez package. It's back in this area, back where the boss on this island originally was when we first arrived. We got that one. Now we're gonna keep moving down and we're gonna grab the one that's all the way up there where that bear is hiding. Ugh. Alright, here's the next package too. This is back where we originally found her mauled cat. Poor Martha. Okay, so we got this one. That clears out this particular area of the map, so we're gonna go back and... That main area down there where we took that boat. Looks like it has something. There's also somewhere over by one of our old sleeping quarters. So let's go check those out. The next Sanchez package is back by this old safe house when we originally got to this last island. Carry on. Okay, and here's the next one. Oh, we have a little bit of a ostrich zombie horde. Uh, I guess it wasn't that big. Okay, this is back by where we found Carol on the Santa Barbara Island. And then it looks like the last one's on the opposite side of this, so we're gonna head down that way. And this is the final Sanchez package on this particular island, so we're gonna head down to that boat. So it turns out Kovacs Island has nothing on it, so we're just gonna get out of here. Alright, so back to this island where Ramon currently is. It appears that we have one, two, three, four, five, six on here. Okay. Oh, and even one area I haven't been to yet. So we get to go check out a new area as well. How exciting. How exciting indeed. Okay, so this is apparently a totally new area that we've just arrived to. We just have to break down this barrier and we'll get in there. However, there's something over here. Hazmat helmet. Basic helmet equipped with gas mask. Oh, that would be so cool. I haven't found a gas mask, though. Is it around here? Special white plant. Oh, that'd be so awesome. Oh, look at that. We have a golden... Whatever the hell those things are called. I don't know. Ah! Clear that nuisance out. Some ammo. Okay. So now we have to throw one of our nice homemade bombs. Like so. Back to our healing plant just so we don't accidentally waste it. Oh, we have another healing plant we have to use. Yeah, we've never been in here before. There was no way we could have gotten in here. Until Kovac taught us how to make these bombs. So as a fire, we can potentially do pulleys. Ooh. Do we need those for something else? Alright, so we got a nice gas can in here. Gas tank. Have a look see in our inventory. Alright, so yeah, you know we'll make this into a Molotov, so we'll equip with that. Um the chemical. Okay, so we still have one more Molotov. Curious if I can do anything with the pulleys at this point. I mean there's a blueprint here. Empty bottle! Damn it. My no fabric. Okay, so an iron axe. Yes, I already knew how to do that. What the hell? No, I can't do anything with it. Alright, let's leave it here then. I don't know what to do with it, so I'm not going to waste my inventory space. And we need to turn our flashlight off now to conserve battery power. 
Back to our healing item. Okay, we're in good shape. Just gotta be cautious about those damn freaking piranha down there. Let's see, let's see. Couple of these guys. Special blue plant. I mean, we can use some of these potions too to... I mean, we may as well. If we come across another one of those big boss enemy types, then we'll use one against them. Something that'll work good, hopefully. I I don't know. Uh, twin sticks cutting boomerang. Causing height. Wait, is that just with making one bone blade, maybe? Yeah, that might be it. Oh, is that real? Oh, yeah. Oh, we can make another bag. We can make another bag, unless there's something else I can do with it. Nope, we're making a bag. We are making a bag and we're using it. Yes! Oh, more inventory space. We'll grab that iron sheet just in case. There seems to be an awfully lot of those dropping. It might be in case I get like alligator armor or something like that. Because I know that one of the cocos is going to do that for me. Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my dear god! Okay, okay, let's just get out of here. Molotov for the win, baby! Deal with these couple of nuisances that got through first. Nice. Piece of fabric. I mean, these ones aren't difficult, it's just there were so many of them. It's kind of like a zombie in general. They're not really difficult on their own, but when you put them in groups, oh boy. Time to run for those hills. Okay, so the real reason I'm using this strategy is because it's so much easier to get your hands on to meat than it is to get it on healing plants. Like those ostriches, you know how easy it is to farm those things? It's crazy how easy it is. Oh, and I can make more arrows with this. Wooden steak. And then we'll have to find out exactly where Mind those. I mean, I need some more feathers. I'll just keep those as regular arrows for now. Okay. Anyways. Let me figure out where these things are. Alright, so there's one, like, right up here to the right. I wonder if there's anything down here. Oh, I hear a Coco. I hear Cocos. Coco for Coco Pups. Can't believe I didn't make that joke yet. Yeah, we've already done that. That's why the pulley's here. Oh, there's another boat over here. Hey, get, get back here. Okay, there's another thing we can blow up over there. Where the hell? Oh, that leads directly. Oh, okay. Yes, I see. That's back where Ramon is right now. So we might actually blow that up too in a moment. I don't know, I guess they assumed I would have already come here by now. After I got the explosive arrows. Ah. Explosives in general. Those things are all over the place. I think they're just for decoration though, unfortunately. So how the hell do we get up there? I'm guessing the path's over there somewhere. What's down here though? Manual compressor, so maybe we'll see if we can use that to healing plant. Nice, nice. Oh my god! I hate this thing so much. It's the worst. Where'd he come from? Oh, here's a Sanchez package. Here we go. Alright, so we got that one. There's still one across the way up by Coco, and then there's another one to my right somewhere. Passed by it earlier without realizing it. Okay, so there's another safe area we can set up here. May as well charge our flashlight because it's half empty right now. We don't need it on though. That's just silly. During the daytime? That's silliness. Find that. Can I do anything with that? Nope, not currently. Okay, what's this over here? Lawn tube. Oh man, we might be able to make the machine gun actually. Oh. Hello, sir. You're dead now. I don't know what's in there. It doesn't seem to be worth the risk unless there's like a redstone in there. I don't see a redstone. 
Then again, I don't know what's in there, and I kind of am curious. If you know what I mean. Plus, I do have plenty of them on me, right? Why not? Just why not? Golden crab. Okay, that's gonna be what Coco's looking for. He's gonna look for, like, several of these, because there's a few of them around. Harpoon grip. Oh, here's Sanchez's package. You can grab that make kit over here, too. Harpoon grip. Oh man, inventory's full. <laughs> Isn't that just the worst? The day now worst? It's gonna be so simple. Unless, like, the big guys start coming. I don't think they are, though. Trying to do something that wasn't very smart there. What else is new, right, everybody? Piece of fabric. As long as we get those damn helmets off, we're good. Oh my god, there's so many of them! This is ridiculous! It's okay. Oh, another one is sick. Perfect. So I guess we do kind of need feathers still. Especially if we come across another one of those damn bosses, because they seem to be pretty effective against him. Let's go see Coco. Grab this one here because I know I'm gonna need it. How many do you want? How many do you want? <laughs> Coco see new great shiny treasure. <gasps> Yellow shiny crabs. <laughs> Beautiful for house of Coco. But Coco's still afraid of monsters. <laughs> Survivor help, Coco? I hope you because I really don't have a choice in the matter. Okay, he needs four of them. I don't know what he's gonna give me though. Carbon made mud guard. What? What is that for? There's Sanchez's package. Let's drop this sheet for a minute. Explosive arrows. Yeah, I know I can do that, obviously. Curious what this is actually for. Robust and flexible mud guards made from carbon. Pulleys again. What the hell's up with all these pulleys? Oh, I guess I dropped them. Alright, either way, it doesn't matter. <gasps> Soldier gas mask! Soldier gas mask! Drop that. Grab that. Okay, let's drop these for a moment. We need to unequip our helmets. Even if we have to take, like, the spikes off, I don't care. I just want the gas mask. It's so awesome. Combine that with the helmet. Oh, they work with together. Yes, they work together. All right, golden crab. Got the mud guard. How does it look? Oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. That's like a classic zombie look. Classic zombie movie look, rather. All right, so I mean, I found three of them. Now, oh, what's this? Okay, so we have half of them. Now we got 10 out of 20. Oh, we found another one. So we got 11 out of 20. Alright, so after searching around for a bit, I noticed that these trees back here look like the type you can cut. This is right behind Coco. There's gotta be something down here. Oh, there it is. There it is. Alright, we got it. We got it. Beautiful, precious treasures for Coco. Coco give reward to Survivor. Oh, it's a redstone. Oh, okay. Hi. Thanks, Coco. I mean, the only thing we can really use it on at this point that would make sense is the chainsaw. So there we go, we have a golden chainsaw. Plus 50% damage, let's see what it looks like. Oh yeah, all golden fancy. Okay, so I also figured out how to do this green beef soda, so I came back here and found where we left the unfinished one back so many episodes ago. And then I combined it with the manual compressor and then it turned into this green beef soda, so that's awesome. 100% sleep, thirst, and 50% health, I mean, can't go wrong with that then.
We'll be keeping that. I think a Coco was looking for it too. I don't know if we're gonna give it to him though. He doesn't deserve it. Damn piranha down there. Okay, so we got that one. All right, here's the next one. It's over here. It's back where we could see Emily hanging from the tree. Or sitting on the tree, whatever you want to call it. Okay, so that's all of the packages on this island. So now we're going to go back to the first island. And hopefully the last five will be there. And then we can finally get out of here. And we have arrived. So let's see what they are. There are... Yep, there are five here. Okay, here it is. Yeah, we just went right around the corner. It was sitting right there. Okay, the next one, we just have to keep going down this way. Okay, the next one just a little bit further down. Got that one. The next one... Looks like it would be best if we took a right, then we can wrap around and get the last two after that. So let's go this way. Oh my god, there is another boss! Damn it! Oh man, I knew there was going to be another one. I should have known. This one's at least not that tough anyway. Yeah, this one's fairly simple. Straightforward. The one right by Sanchez, he was difficult as hell. Ah! Yeah, this one's going to be gone in no time. Damn it! Of course, we have one of these to deal with, too. That's going to be a big nuisance. Obviously, I want to kill him first, but still. Damn it. Let me set it on fire. That'll help kill it quickly. Damn it. Got it. Damn it. This guy really sucks. Oh, I didn't even open that box yet. He's down for the count, sucker. Okay, we're gonna get that package in a moment. However, I want to see what's in here. I'm always curious if there's something good laying around. Oh, it's a redstone! Yes! Yes! I mean, I really don't need it, but... I guess if we go and pick up the, um... Make the machine gun, we could use it for that, but... Whoa, what's with this? Golden Santa Barbara statue, what's the point of that? Maybe one of the Cocos wants it, I don't know. Probably part of like their riddles and whatnot. Okay. So the package is right over here. Got it. Okay, and there is another one here, so we're gonna find out what this one's got in store for us. Back far enough. Fish and chips. I already knew that one. That <laughs> what a ripoff. Okay, so we've got to take this one out finally now. This will lead us down so that we can get the next package. Oh, of course there's some zombie ones over there. What else would you expect? Oh man, oh, there's a lot of them. Okay, we got them. Just barely, but we got them. Okay, green beef soda, here we go. Exactly what I just told you earlier. Oh, here it is. Yoink. Okay, so this area is completely new down here. What's this? Manual compressor, we already have one. Okay, let's clear these big guys out. Ugh. Really don't like trying to snipe these guys. Oh, night creatures come. Our flashlight on. Oh, there's a boat over here, too. That goes to Santa Barbara Island. Perfect. Ah. Why isn't this crab noticing me? Oh, maybe it didn't. It's just too damn good for it. Kill that one. Okay, we got a bunch of these guys up here. Way too many for my liking. There's one more down there. Ah! Oh. 
Okay, we got him. What's Coco want? Coco see other great shiny treasure. Rock. Yellow shiny statue. Rock. Beautiful for house of Coco. But Coco afraid. Big, big monster. Rock. The survivor helping Coco. The Santa Barbara statue. Maybe I'll get that for you. We'll see. Don't hold your breath, pal. Don't hold your breath. Damn, man, where the hell is this package already? Okay, it's like right up here. Got him. Alright. Wait, what's in here? Lawn tube out, need another one of those. I currently have one. There's a lot of creatures down there I don't want to deal with. Alright, so where is it? Oh, I passed by it. Oh, it's got to be inside here. Maybe? What is that? Oh, there's number 12. Iron grid. There's Sanchez's package. Perfect. Save it. Oh, I can't wait for the monsters name. Oh, damn. They're alerted to my presence. Some random glasses. I don't need that crap. I mean, I already have all of Sanchez's packages now, so I don't really need to be here anymore. Ugh, oh, man, I really just need to stop shooting guns. It's not working out for me. My flashlight's dying on me. Useless hunk of junk. Root there, okay. So we're just gonna go in here for one second. We're gonna save it. Wait, what's what's this? Big chain. Why do they keep dropping so many of these? I mean, I guess it's probably in case you miss it the first time. Okay, we'll save it. There's nothing else in here I need, right? The iron grid would be nice if I knew what to use it for, but I don't. Okay, so let's just check to make sure we do in fact have 20. Yes, we do. All right, everybody. To Santa Barbara Island we go. Anyways, everybody, thank you so much for watching. As always, I do hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to click like to show your support. And if you're new, join the rest of us in Seeking Nation by clicking subscribe. And I will see you next time.